My, my name is Brendan Morocco and I'm a, a double arm transplant. Well, I needed the transplant because uh, the, the easiest way to put it is I got blown up in Iraq that I was hit with an EFP, which is essentially a shape charge of molten copper. So it's over 2000 degrees because it was so hot as it took me apart, it cauterized everything. So I wasn't bleeding. And the thing that took my arms and legs is what kept me alive, which is crazy. Brendan was introduced to me by the assistant commandant of the Marine Corps. We talked about arm transplant, and Brendan knew immediately that's what he wanted. I think the future of VCA is bright. It's a new and we think exciting field of transplant, transplanting hand, face, or other body parts. When you're a quadruple amputee and you have no arms and someone comes to you with, with the possibility of, of getting them back, how can you pass that up? It took a couple of years of uh, preparation, and then when that appropriate donor was available, we called Brendan. In order to get the right donor, we need to match not just the right blood types and tissue types. They have to look the right age, have the right skin tones, be the right size, and so there are more criteria that these go through than a traditional organ. Where we transplant the whole arm on the right side, but for the left side, we transplanted nearly the entire forearm and hand from the donor. The question I've gotten the most about my surgery was, wait, so they're not, so they're real? Like, they're, they're not prosthetics? Like, no, they're, they came from a person. The arms came from a girl. They're a transplant, you know, they, this person passed away and I ended up with her arms. I spent about six hours a day in therapy for over two years. Typically, the nerves grow back at a speed of one inch a month. So if you measure the length of your arm, you realize it takes a couple of years for the function to fully return. You know, I mean, they're brand new muscles that, it, that I had to figure out how to move my muscles to move the donor muscles. I think the biggest difference between VCA and organ transplant is the quality of life aspects. A perfect example of that is taking a, a soldier who lost all four limbs in battle, defending our country, uh, and uh, giving him back his independence and a life that he wants to live. I think about the donor, I mean, it's, uh, I can't not every time I do anything, it, it is because of her, you know, and, and her family. I wouldn't be able to, to do anything that I do today without them.